Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a traffic system with the AI cars in our past videos. Uh, we're going to be using some of our materials that we got from last video, so if you want to go check out those videos, they will hopefully be in the description, and hopefully one of them will be on screen right now. So to start off, we're going to have to get the cars from last video, which I do have the description of the last video of the AI car updated system, which is right over here. Um, this system will have turn bricks and stopping and going bricks. We're going to have to be using these stopping and going bricks in this video today. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to ungroup it. And we have all our parts here to play with. We have to use these two bricks. And what we're going to do is first off, we're going to move them to the back of the car. Somewhere like that. Like right there. Or we can move it out a little bit more somewhere a little bit farther than our car and then we have to resize them to fit kind of like where the car is a little bit push these in together just like that make sure the resizing is done properly so now since we already resized it a uh, car now we're going to add one more brick uh, we're going to just copy this and just make one brick in the middle we want to just make a different color and we're going to be calling this uh... place there we go um, so that's going to be where our bricks interact uh, if you don't know what, that, what I'm talking about just keep watching and you'll see so now we have to actually first off we have to connect all of these together so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight we're actually going to open the car. We're going to take the stop, go, and place. We're going to drag it into the car. So now everything is together. Oh, whoopsie. Into the car. And what we need to do now is I have a plugin. If you don't have this plugin, hopefully I will put a link in the description for you to go check it out. So to use this plugin, all I got to do is click on this moon editor and go to Easy Weld because this helps me edit uh, weld my stuff really easily. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to highlight where I want everything to be welded into, which is the body. And then, let's see, it says, if I go to part, it says body, the base part's body. Then the target part is going to be everything else. So I'm going to hold down curl, and I'm going to highlight all the parts, such as go, uh, stop, and the place part. And you see everything's varied because there's multiple parts. You have to click on join in place and now you have these three welds what we want to do is highlight the go and stop part go down to its properties scroll all the way down to where it shows behavior and we're going to click on uh, massless and now everything is together so now we actually have to do the scripting part of it so we're going to go back in we're going to go back into our car script that we used in the last video and you have all this new script, but it's kind of simple. Uh, I'm going to leave all the code in the description again. Uh, but I already pre-made this code, so I'm just going to paste it in here. So what we're going to want to do is go up here to C. And I'm just going to paste these in there. If you want, you can take a look at those. These local parts are finding our stop part or go part and the place part that we put down. All those parts that we just welded together. And now we're actually going to start using them. So, if I come over to, to the stop function, I'm going to add a new line, and I'm just going to paste this in there, so you don't need to really worry about that. There we go, we have the stop and go. Let me just put that there. So, the stop part will change the position to the start point, which is the part that we already had, and I'll put the go part somewhere that the car cannot find it at all. And the go part, which we're just going to put over here, like that. Okay, so what are you going to also want to do is come over here to your script. And you're going to want to copy this part, paste it over here. Whoa. Paste it right there and take your stop part, that, place it right over here. Because this is going to help the script 
find the part so don't need every part cluttering up. So now you see that this part's empty. Once it touches the gold part, a green one appears, and if it touches the red, the red one appears. So this traffic system is going to make sure that if you have multiple cars, the cars will not hit each other. So I'm going to make these big so the cars can actually hit them so I can actually show you how these work. If we just duplicate this again, and we click on run, the cars will first go to the green. All of them will light up green. And then after it hits the green, this car will hit the red. Every car will hit that car's red. So that car has red. This car hits it. It turns red. That car hits it. Turns red. That car hits it. Turns red. Uh, so there you go. This is your traffic system. And if I take this red one away, and I just put a this green part. Let me first take it out of the way. Take this green part. Put it over here. And then touch this car. Or oh, we have to go a little bit more in. All the cars turn green and they go through until it turns red. There we go. All the cars just went down. And they keep falling until the game breaks it. So then that's this tutorial for now. I forgot to mention. The, uh, so what you can also do with these cars is since they're like this and you can actually see it. What you could do is come over here. Go to all your parts like we did everything else and just make it invisible. There we go. So you don't even need to see it. So hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Hopefully you actually learned something. Um, this was kind of like a fast tutorial, hopefully. And hopefully you actually know everything that you're doing. Um, hopefully it's helped you a lot in making these traffic systems. Hopefully in this video, uh, there will be a link in the description so you can get this vehicle if you're way, way too lazy to actually make it. But that's fine. Just get it in the description. Nothing's going to be bad. Uh, see you on the next video. Bye now.